Breaking news in our world lead now, the Israeli military hitting targets in Gaza in response to a Hamas rocket attack that injured seven people inside a home near Tel Aviv. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is on his way back to Israel right now after a meeting at the White House this morning where President Trump formally recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, which Israel seized in 1967. CNN's Oren Lieberman is close to the Israel-Gaza border. Oren, what's happening on the ground in Gaza right now? Jake, about three minutes ago, we saw two Iron Dome aerial uh, defense interceptions right above our head here from rockets fired from Gaza. We heard another one a short distance away, and we also heard two or three launches from Gaza coming towards Israel. That indicates that a ceasefire that was supposed to have gone into effect less than an hour ago isn't holding up. Hamas inside of Gaza said Egypt had successfully brokered a ceasefire at 10 o'clock local time. A well-placed official had warned us, or had cautioned us, I should say, that that ceasefire may not have fully got into effect yet, and that appears very much to be what we're seeing with those additional rocket launches after that ceasefire was supposed to have taken place. That means that Israel will almost certainly carry out more strikes inside of Gaza. Let me take you back, Jake, to when this all started. It was early this morning when a long-range rocket fired from Gaza landed north of Tel Aviv, the farthest a rocket has landed in Israel, or the deepest it has landed in Israel from Gaza since the end of the 2014 war, landing on a home there and wounding seven. Israel's response came quite a few hours later, just as sundown was happening here, and Israel carried out a wide an attack on a wide range of targets, including a, against the Hamas intelligence headquarters and the office of Hamas leader Ismail Haniya. Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, had had told his security cabinet ministers that he wanted to hit significant targets, and that certainly qualifies. We've seen throughout the evening a number of red alerts and, uh, indicating a number of air raids or rocket sirens or, or mortars attacks from Gaza into Israel. Jake, the night is young here. That ceasefire apparently not holding, so we'll see how it develops from this point throughout the evening. And Oren, separately uh, from uh, this latest round of, of violence, uh, Netanyahu is facing critical elections next month in Israel. Uh, President Trump certainly taking some uh, measures here, the rec recognition of Golan, uh, as well as uh, other things that he has done when it comes to Israel. Uh, is, it, is Trump essentially helping Netanyahu get reelected? It, it certainly appears to be blatant that the Trump administration is trying to do everything in its power to make sure Netanyahu is reelected. Those elections just two weeks from tomorrow. The question, does the Golan recognition get washed out by this escalation today? Does this ruin his chances or affect it in any way? We'll see over the next couple of weeks here. All right, Oren Lieberman, thank you so much. Please, please stay safe.